Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to PlayStation Access. My name is Dave and I'm joined today by Ash. Hello, it's me. Oh, I cut you off there, Ash. I'm sorry. Oh, I feel bad. Wow. I was just about to say that in no way, shape or form, uh, are we um, tired? No, whatsoever. not one bit. I'm pumped. If you heard that, then you have been talking to a liar. <laughs> uh, and we are pumped because we're going to be playing Biomutant on PS4 today, which is so exciting because... I have, we've been covering this game for years, Ash, on this channel. It's years. Been, it's been years in the making, as many games are, and it's almost here, and we've managed to get um, permission from THQ to stream it early, uh, which is very, very exciting. So yes. we're going to be playing the first 90 minutes of Biomutant. We are. Thereabouts. Uh, Ash is going to be playing. I am. I'm holding the controller right now, everyone. I want you to imagine that. You just have to believe in us. In your minds. She is. Uh... Callan says Dash is the best duo, which is really weird Whoa! because Team Dash will be making another appearance on the channel oh later yeah, today. Yeah. Uh, I was just thinking if I made a thumbnail. I have. Anyway, uh, <laughs> hello to Domino, who's um, our, our lovely moderator today. Thank you so much for being here, Domino. Hopefully, Oliver Bath will be joining us in a bit too, but I'm sure that the chat will be lovely as always anyway. Without further ado, Ash, should we start a new game? Let's start a new game. Um... Yeah. Let, yeah, let's do it. We're doing it. This is Biomutant, and it begins. Although I think there's a menu first. Oh. There is. <laughs> yeah, this is Biomutant, and, and it, it begins. begins. This what is Biomutant, it? and it begins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to maintain a sort of <laughs> mysterious silence. Oh, there he is. I've broken the mysterious silence already. So wise, so furry, and so scaly. Encode your DNA. Woo! So now we can pick our character creator. So you're in like a little pool going, ooh, what's in this pool? And you can change your DNA accordingly. Um, so there's loads of different types. I, I think the, the bigger thing about Biomutant that everyone will have seen and know is, is that the character creation is varied and wonderful. Yes, it is. And you can have lots of different types that you kind of start as your base creature that you can then alter the look of depending on what you want them to do so what sort of creature shall we have um well this is a good question what do you look for are you do you okay do you look for aesthetics are you looking at the little graphics you know the graphs on the on the right are you reading the backstory oh no well, see i haven't even i haven't even read the right and i'm just looking <laughs> at what, which one's cutest and the face is what, is what i was doing look at which one's okay. the most cat like um but no yeah so you've got different ones so there's the primal which we forget there primal uh nimble developed anthropomorphic breed so it has a bit of a, a hybrid dealio going on the dum don i think is the the strong one Physical strength. Physical strength. Physical strength, baby. And then this is another hybrid one. Apt for both physical and mental challenges. Uh, extremely tough and resilient, so another tough one. It looks a bit evil, that one. Yeah. I've got to be honest. FIP. What's going on with FIP? Power of Okay, we need to talk about your tiny head. Mental Fip. abilities. <laughs> <laughs> it's because his brain's so big. <laughs> and um, what's a Murgle? And a Murgle. Uh, tiny little legs. Tiny little legs. So stumpy. Idealized breed. Evolutionary lineage has gone in a direction where form and appearance have dominated over function. So just beautiful. Just saying, this beautiful. is a good looking one, but not very smart. Yeah, but beautiful. But beautiful. But beautiful. So what are, we, what are we going for? I think we should go, you know, go cover art. Let's go a primal. Yeah, primal's, I think, what's mostly been shown, hasn't it? Yeah. Primal. So we will, we will, we will stick there. Next up, a Define tribute. So you can. Genetic structure. Oh, hello. <laughs> there is a narrator in this game. <laughs> he does narrate. He does pop up quite a lot. Um, so yeah, although your breed kind of lends you to a certain, in a certain direction, you can then come in and modify that. Just have somewhat. some fun, and you can just press randomize, and, and if you're just not sure what you want, to just have a little go through. But the, it is so much fun just using <laughs> the wiggler to make them go different ways. I spent ages when I had my first little go on this, just trying to make the, the most. Agile looking, big eared, tiny little creature, a little tiny baby. Uh, did you figure it out? No, not really, as in, because I just had too much fun doing this. So I was like, <laughs> round, <laughs> kept going up and, and down. We go. I mean, this will be, <laughs> yeah, this all counts as the first 90 minutes. It's only, you know, 10 minutes playing the game because you do Woo. this. Like, oh, man. Yeah, look, but look how much choice you get. And it looks different every time, which I it just It really enjoy. does, actually. Like, the difference is quite staggering. When I you think, think you're just moving some graphs about, it's very cool. Yeah. I think let's go for kind of strong, agile kind of zone. 
Yeah, that looks like, you know, that's a bruiser. Hey, what's up? Yeah. I'll hit you with my sword. You can see what you're going to lose out on, which is some charisma. Oh. Apparently, you're going to lose out on some charisma oh. and your bartering skills will be low. But that's, oh. that's... I'm used to that. Yeah, but I can smack to make up Absolutely for it. Absolutely smack, yeah. Ooh, I can't talk smack, but I can just <laughs> smack, smack. Just, just smack. smack. Yeah, so let's confirm Choose this Choose a genetic resilience. And then this makes the colour of your arm go different colours. I didn't even notice Woo! that. I did not notice that. I just thought it was... I was just purely thought this was like a, you know... Oh, no. What am I resistant to? I didn't realise that that was changing my arm It is colour. all aesthetically oh. pleasing. Ooh, so, that's cool. Now, what colour? What do you think? We've got pink, blue, green... Oh, there's a little pose from our friend. Strike a pose. I think we're oh. going to go pink. We're going to have radioactive. I was going to say pink, yeah. yeah. Nice. Maybe it's slightly purple. Now, I should actually look at what it does as well, but the colours The colours. It's just adjusting like what your resistance to certain yeah. hazards, right? So I don't know how prevalent each of these things is in the world, but I suppose, you know, you're going to be fine in radioactive Places. I am. I'm going to use my pink arm. But you hate the heat. I hate Can't it. Can't stand it. I really am biohazard as well. God, just get away from me. Yeah. Just no get thanks. away. Cold. I could, you know. Take a leave. It's fine. It's a cool arm. Choose your first style. Oh, more fun. First style. First style. And then you can pick uh, any of these. So you can make like a really unique character every time you play. Like it's got loads of different ways of customizing and making it look mad and playing with your jeans. So... Let's think. What sort? We we need like some sort of dramatic backstory for for our fur pattern. Oh, that's a good idea. This one looks like he's got a little hood on. I like that. I like his little uh, eye triangle thing as well. Like yeah. he's been hit in the eye by an axe. I think. Oh, he's always got that. Actually. Yeah, eye triangle. That's quite cool. The kind of the crisscross. The crisscross. That's like a, that's quite um, Sly Cooper. Yeah, I went for this one because I thought it looked like. I just I liked it, but I think Sly Cooper it wasn't it was a subconscious Sly Cooper decision clearly. Now you've said it, I'm like just oh a yeah. Thief. Ooh, that one's dramatic. That is dramatic. Look at this eye. Let's go with this one. We're gonna have this one. This guy's definitely got a backstory. Yeah. Pick your main color. Oh, and now you can pick two different colors to have your main color and your 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 fur color. So we're gonna go pink to match the arm. Makes sense. Yeah, of course. What about this? Because you can then there's a secondary color, right? Choose there your is. detail color. We could, we could go pink again. The bright pink or rodent. Not. Or we can go purple for a bit of... A bit yeah. of contrast. Yeah, a bit of nice. contrast. We like that. Make it a bit paler. There we go. Purple and pink. All right, then. Right. Let's do it. It's happening. I do love this little po striker pose. <laughs> Pick a Here we go. Right. Important again. Aesthetics. Commando. Cyphreak. This is what I went for initially because I just enjoyed this animation so much it's like the magic user of uh of biomutant world Got yeah yeah there's a lot saboteur. there's a lot of differences uh and this class does make it you know it does change what you can do so i think saboteur can be in dual Sentinel. wield um melee weapons and um the side freak obviously like you said can use kind of like magic and mm -hmm. stuff dead eye is best at shooting what are you gonna saboteur. go with saboteur. i'm gonna go dead eye because the outfit's the best okay <laughs> and we're gonna do some shooting so i think we've had a very good kind of like insight into how ash <laughs> <laughs> creates characters. I just wanted to show you the character choice. creation. All right then. Let's go. So this is the very start of the game. Here's we'll start our 90 minutes now. Past. Yeah. We can do that. Drawn into and the we'll spotlight of a story that's already begun. And there We're is a lot of narration. The there is. Which we will Choosing try and respect. Choosing a path respect. in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. And this was something I was not expecting at all at the start of this game. Yeah. Oh. But for you, I was so it's not up. only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Right. I, just I know, exactly. <laughs> just it's, it's, you can I see. mean, this is the classic, isn't it? I mean, I, I always want to be dark red, but always go light blue. Yeah, see, I've, my, in, my inner monologue is dark red. Uh, let's, let's be nice in this stream. Let's be light blue. Let me introduce myself. Wait a minute. I'm the light and bright side. I don't know if I can get on with the light. <laughs> <laughs> if it's going to be like this. And consequence of your actions as you move forward. Oh, well, so, hmm, inner voice. Yeah, go on, but does it was vibe, we're vibing. You get it, I'm bright. I'm bright. It's right. more like you're being lightheaded, if you ask me, but you'll oh. come around eventually. I mean, I wish I'd seen the, the, the dark side before, but before I made the choice. But <laughs> around goes all the way back around. 
It's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. And in my nature is niceness. <laughs> in your nature? Oh, and here I was hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest and so forth. Now, if that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. <laughs> natural selection is all about evolution and progress. And as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear. I mean, that, yeah. I mean, that's how it yeah, works. That is, the light, that is how yeah. it works, yeah. Oh. See you later. Oh, I like you that. Go. Decision made. Woo! Get out of here. So, right. the light side. So, we're supposed to go right. Are you going right? Wait. Maybe no. You, you can. Yeah, yeah, right. Let's do it. Right for the light. Right for the right light. Right is always right. Right there you is go. always right. Says this guy. I'm in the undergrowth. I'm running. I'm going through the undergrowth and running. Woo, woo, woo. Well, Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Oh. Ah! That's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. Meat eaters meat. Meat eaters meat. Do I eat the horse? It's not a horse. It's a gnome. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You Backstory turned your back here. on our world shattered and got your lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Oh, that's nice. Bonk note. Yeah. Anyway, whatever killed it definitely is not. What <laughs> uh, the hell? <laughs> ah! Okay, a foo roll. Oh no, I rolled into it. That's okay. It's still, still dodged. So we're we're off. We're off at last. Um, into the combat of this game, which is obviously like a big part of it. And um, there's a lot, Woo! there's quite a lot to it actually. There are lots of moves to, to learn. Obviously, you're going to see all of them coming up on screen because this is the tutorial. Thing. Yeah, we're right at the beginning, so. Characters in Biomutant are ranged and um, melee attacks, and can also parry. And you can see, like, on a lot of characters, these kind of, it's almost kind of Arkham Knight style, like this. This um, icon appears above their heads when they're going to attack you, and you can parry. There we go. Bit like Take that. Take that. Nice. It's like we planned that. We didn't. So yeah, just learning all these like combinations, dodge melee and stuff. Rabbit's fury. So. Whoa. Bosh. The rabbit's angry. So rabbit's fury. I thought I thought that was interesting, and also jumping is called a bunny hop. So I don't know whether you know. Better make a run for it. This is not the time nor place to go, end go, go. this story. Uh, where biomutants are, are vaguely kind of based on rabbits. Rabbit? I don't know. Well, that monster was called like a, a looper lupin as well. Oh, and that's a yeah. rabbity. It is lupine. Yes, isn't it? Oh, that's unlapping. I was thinking. Yeah, it's, but it's all it all connects. It together. all connects. Thank like, you. Nothing gets past us. Nothing gets past us. By a mutant. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is everybody doing in the chat? Uh, Joe Andy says who is playing. It Ash was best playing. to run it's and me. live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Oh. Ah! Right, so. There's an explosion from a giant bomb. Yeah, so. so um, we don't want to be there for that. That guy just walking around with a giant bomb, you know, that he can swing. Yeah. What's <laughs> just in case. Uh, one thing I really like about this is the kind of mystery of what's happened to the world, and and in fact, you know, like you start to, I think we will start to see things that suggest that it's the human world that has, yeah. like these giant egg sacs. Yeah, exactly. The I mean, I see isn't these the only <laughs> all the time. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Right. Let's be having you. Bit more, uh, bit more combat now. So yes, reloading. Um, you're a dead eye, so you get a kind of quick reload. That's mm -hmm. one of your character class abilities, which you'll see when the ammo counter goes red. You can quick reload, which Whoa. other classes don't have. And yeah, it, you get your special abilities. And it is quicker because if you just run out of bullets, it takes ages. You almost have to put each like this. Each bullet has to go back yeah. in manually. 
but uh, when it goes red, you can just do like a, a quick reload, Woo! and they're all back. Like so. Boom. So it is really worth thinking about before you play for the first time, like what kind of combat you think you'll be mostly doing if you're going to be doing more ranged or more melee, because um, that will make a big difference. Loves a bit of slow mo in Biomutant. It does. It's very satisfying when you've killed something and watch it like launch across the map in slow motion. The the thing is though, whatever class you choose, that you can. Um, like have a bit of all types of combat like you know i've got a massive sword whilst also being like a dead eye shooter um the key energy that you use if you're a, a psi freak um you still have like guns and swords and stuff so you, yeah. you do get to to mix and match you do whichever way you like to play a chest what's inside an electric module and it's worth saying like you know, we're going to see a lot, I think, in this first 90 minutes. There's a lot in this game. Lots of systems yeah. to, like, figure out and explore. Um, lots of character abilities and things like that. Lots of ways to approach combat. Do, do, do. Have a look what's in this m medical bag. Naray says, I'm a hacky slashy kind of person. I mean, you I will be well catered for here. Relate. There's a really cool move you can do where if you parry at the right time and then uh, hit your victim. Victim! You can basically like, toss them into the air and then you can jump up there and smash them up in the air in slow motion. I just like it. It's good. Ooh, take that from the toilet. A lovely d d pack of pills from the toilet. That's right. Who needs pharmacies when you've, we've got toilets? The basin. So yeah, this is obviously... I, I'm kind of fascinated by what's happened in the to the human world. Yeah. Where did we go? Why is it like this? What's the bad stuff? The oil sludges everywhere. Who's this guy? To most, it only means death. Ah! Probably, it's probably friendly. Death. Okay. So probably yeah, definitely yeah. friendly. So the uh, the, the uh, um, enemies Evolution has its have ranged attacks too. Little. Whoa! I was reading that and then forgot to do exactly what it said. The, so you've the parry attacks. You've equipped like some electric hammer basically, right? Yeah, and that's them, the electric module that we found is now working its magic. And I'm gonna smack him with my sword! He's a big boy. Yeah. I mean, are we the same kind of creature? I don't know. Woo! There we go. Not Slow anymore. Mo, you know it's done. You slow no. Oh, we, hell yes. Fallen enemies can be looted for healing items. Dustrauma says, hello, everybody. Hello to you. Toby King thinks that Rob <laughs> is doing the narrations. He's definitely not. And it's worth saying, actually, that there's a cool thing in the menus where you can adjust how much the narrator does pop up. Oh, yeah. Which we might do later on. We'll yeah. see how we get on. He's just doing his uh, speaking of the speaking of the words as narrators do. Speaking of the words as narrators tend to do. Oh, this guy throws exploding barrels. Whoa! There he's you go. This guy throws exploding barrels, Dave. <laughs> I should maybe have said that a little sooner. Let's get out of here. I do like the the, the flipping. I think it was a foo roll, wasn't it? Yeah, foo roll. That's the Woo. one. Woo! Yeah, don't be picking up that. Oh, uh, Casey Wonder ninety nine says I love the comic book pieces, the skeleton flashing, the vulcan sound effect. Yeah, it, it's really cool actually. Like the click there that when you when you try to fire your weapon and you um, you're reloading. I really like that click, click, click. That is cool. And yeah, yeah. The, the flashy skeletons. It's a nice touch. When you uh, the slow mo the when slow -mo. you end them as well as always feels very comic book esque. And, and the like little, little <laughs> sort of death skull. Just thing. To, just to make sure they're definitely dead. All right, let's have a little look at this world. You can see it's obviously covered in like oil barrels and uh, strange debris from a time long gone. Yeah, and we just came out of a bunker. That's never good. Bunkers are this, never good. This was a great character creation. I've got to say, I'm glad we spent the time doing that. Yeah, big time. Look, look how beautiful. Well, Case actually said, can you uh, customize your furry what's it? And like, <laughs> assuming you mean our biomutant. Uh, yes. Yes, you can. And if you want to go back to the start of the stream, you will see. You can customize. Just how much you can. We took our very time about it. it. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> I I clocked how long time had gone <laughs> as it was happening. I was like, ooh. Ash, we entertain our preferences. 
here. We do, and okay. I like a character creation. Absolutely. We said before we even started, I was like, wow, I'm looking forward to character right. creating. That's right. And we said we're going to do 90 minutes of gameplay, and we will. We'll do it from the. From, from uh, after the character creation. <laughs> Mr. Anderson says who's playing Big Dave or Ash Mash. Ash Mash. It's Ash Mash. Oh, it's which me. Which hard to say. Oh my gosh, the iron wall. Please. Woo, woo. Fuck off. The angry dad says furry what's it. But the angry dad, you've written them like what's it's the crisps. And like that surely fur is the enemy of crisps. All crisps. <laughs> Any kind of hair. Like, get those things separated. A bag of furry crisps. A furry what's it in particular. Yeah. I feel like he's... Oh my gosh, I'm not handling the parries very well. I'm just getting in there. Uh, like a Lycanthrope like says, furry fallout, I am sold. And I mean, yeah, it's very... It's supposed to definitely been some kind of apocalypse. I, well, I don't know. It's not clear. We might find out a bit more. Uh, but there's definitely been... Uh, a mass exodus, shall we say, of the world, and there are bunkers. So it's quite, it's pretty fallout. And we know there's radioactivity because Ash's got a pink arm. So. Yes, and it said radioactive. Look, an emergency Help. box from the once was. Where Ryan Claire it? says, "What did you name your character?" But we haven't named our character. Biomutant. Yeah, biomutant. Right. Or Steve. There is also a really um, in-depth character level-up system. There is, yeah. This, like we, uh, we were saying, like there's loads of little systems and, and things to, yeah, keep an eye on. So, like obviously, you get your normal like uh, adding plus ten to something when you get a new level. Uh, so let's go for our strength. Yeah, that's oh, right. Nice. Show, Show us them off. guns, um, and then they go into like further close, further. I was going to say close combat because I was reading them. <laughs> <laughs> they go into further different... Like skill trees. Yeah, skill trees. Yeah, so Wang Fu, it's like it's like moves, isn't it? I think these are like moves, so you'll see... You yep. can, you like, um, so Crane Dance is the next one you can get, I think. Yeah. Which it will be like... You can see the sequences. The input, input sequence, exactly. So we've got circle, square, R2. R2. Let's do Wong it. Wang Fu. Remember circle, square, R2? I will definitely forget. Circle, square, R2. Circle Square R2. That's right. how I'll remember. Let's go back. And there are perks as well, which mm -hmm. we can't interact with right now because we've got no upgrade points. But I think when we, we do, will, when we do, we'll be back. We'll be back in here leveling stuff up. Right, let's go. Let's head through this door. Uh, it's a moy says, I like the colour palette. Most post-apocalyptic games are so dull or monotone, but this is so bright and colourful. And it really is. And I yeah. think, you know, this is an open that world game, but we're not in weak. the open world yet. The and I think the open world has in handy. A loads of different biomes, which is just, you know, always nice. Everybody likes a bit of hot and a bit of cold, and oh, a bit of green yeah. and a bit of blue. Check everything out. Whoop. Whoa. Agreed, narrator. Agreed. It's Agreed. time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. It is kind of spooky. Yeah, it is a bit spooky. I love your little um, bug cricket friend. Yeah. He just chirps up now and again. You do learn more about him um, <laughs> as the as the game goes on. You, you learn a bit about everything. You kind of pick think crumbs up as you go and then you have like flashbacks to your past where you kind of discover a bit more about what's going on and why and why you have all these like feelings the interactions. The produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Who doesn't like a multi-organ? I love a multi-organ. Yeah. Of any living they shed under distress. That's including you. That's nice. Woo! This is it. This is the thing I was talking about. I love that. Get yourself a bio point. Don't even worry about it. Whoa! Special attack's coming. The crane dance is coming. You know it. Right. R2. Oh, well. <laughs> He did that mork or whatever it is. His multi organ. Did not get the memo about the special attack. What is it? Square circle R2. Oh! I'm pressing all the buttons because <laughs> I'm scared. There we go. Boom. Woo! Upping the ante. Is that, is that an ant joke? Bio blobs. Who doesn't love a bio blob? Bio blob. For mutations and special powers. Ah! Oh no, that wasn't a shot. That was a. That was me picking up 
some goodies. Right. That's a birthing hole. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> oh, thanks for Just sharing. Just be glad there's a rope. It's a chain, actually. It's a chain. To be honest, we're going to get pedantic, uh, which I've decided we are. <laughs> the Angry Dad says, give him multi-organ failure, Ash. Whoa! Nice. With oh, my we sword! We did. We did. Right. Let's go through the rooms. What could be on the other side? A classroom! Of fear. Toxamon Interesting. built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home. For their kind. Ooh! Uh -huh. We've learned a nugget of information. Yes, so it, it was more of an exodus. It kind of gives you a little bit of clue, this toxinol. Could that be our people? Toxic Let's see. bad. Oh, there's also little puzzles that you do where you move and rotate nodes. Um, and you have a certain amount of moves to do it depending on your levels. So you see, oh yeah, it's like to do with how intelligent, in, how much intellect you have, yeah. isn't it? Like affects how much you can. Oh, I don't know. No, just a few moves left. Ah, Make my brain. Count. Oh no. Oh, it's the wrong it's way. The wrong way. <laughs> 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 that went badly, that as went you can badly. see. Right. This time. That's yeah. That's the right way. This one. Yeah. To the right. Oh my gosh, it's thinking of lefts and rights. So I get yeah. stressed. And again. It's too much riding. Bosh. There we go. Three moves. Yeah, smashed it. Who am I? The best. <laughs> it's story time. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. Classic us. That's when they made the big mistake. They Classic began humans. dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Ooh. Ooh. The past is storied. Yes, isn't it just? That's so how it makes biomutants, though. Yep. Bioorganic mutations, it all becomes clear. I think I think you, we might be on something here. The sound oh, no. of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. Agreed. It's coming from behind that door. I don't want to go see the, the door. The just keep the door shut. Yeah, I don't want to see the spark metal going pew pew. Warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Again, let's let's leave that that hazardous. <laughs> it's ah, puzzling it can melt my brain, hazard, you say. Hazard alone. <laughs> right, so white to white. Yes. Yellow to yellow. Yellow to yellow. Dust to dust. Yes. And then right. Just a few moves left. Oh. Bingo. No Oof. brain melt for us. Thank no, you very much. Right, it's stressing me out. Make them count. Yeah, Make them count. Go. Seems fine. No danger. No danger through there. Let's go. All is well. Oh, hello. A perfectly countered An airstrike. Yes, this is what I like. This it's airstrike that the I'm into. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help me. I I'm not a great parrier. I'm a good smasher. I'm not a great parrier, so I'm gonna try and do one for you. Especially for you. You know, I hadn't actually even noticed the. Uh, the comic mentioned in this room. They're everywhere. I've seen a crunch. I was gonna say I've seen a dong, but I stopped myself <laughs> from saying that. The dong's alright. 
Why are these guys picking on this dude in the wheelchair? I don't know. Oh, okay. Here's one. He's, he's still a, hey. a pretty powerful weapon. Super outnumbered. He is super outnumbered. Oh. Oh. My parrying. Here we go. Right. Chop. Chop. I don't know Parappa well enough to, to finish that off. I've just sat there. I was like, Rosie's furious with me somewhere. Kick. Punch. <laughs> it's all over the mic. One at half That's a bit dong. There's the dong again. <laughs> Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. The wheeled one? Let's go. Right. Energy pack. Take all. Sweet meat. The most sweet and delicious of meats. Oh, yes. Tickling toffee. Not sure I would ingest a tickling toffee, to be honest. No, I'd try it. Mm, I don't know. In Anything once. In this apocalyptic world, I'd have a tickling toffee. A tongue tickly as well. <laughs> all right then, old one. What you got? Let's see what's up. What's up? A new friend, an old friend. Could that be a clue okay. to the no. story past? Oh. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. I like that his name is out of date. Yes. <laughs> he presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. I like his... I mean, he's good. He doesn't he's seem well surprised mm. that you don't day. recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. Oh, oh what? Remember I, what? Ah, I want to know everything. The scar. How Lupa Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He Getting must have had a purpose with Voldemort that. Voldemort vibes The here. question mm. is, what? There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. Not my Moomer and Popsy! <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring them into this. <laughs> this is between you and me to bring and the past Lupin. back up to the present to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. I'm glad he's here to tell us what's up. Like, yeah, I think big time. We're getting a lot out of, out of date. I don't know why we've forgotten all of this. I'm excited to find out. What's at stake? Oh, just the whole world. <laughs> just the whole world. The impending threat of the world oh, it is. bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Oh, I know the tree. Joe Hurley says it sounds a bit like uh, Gungan. And I was just the whole time. So this, I think the language is literally called gibberish in yeah. this game. Well, that's it's kind of, you know, that's it's, it's definitely called that in the menu. And, um, oh, what? Flashback sequence. I'm a tiny baby. Way back in the long ago. I'm a tiny baby. I'm a tiny baby. Woo, I, woo, woo. I just think that talking gibberish must be, it's really hard. And it always impresses me when Rob does his, um, his, uh, Pingu impression. Yeah. Because I'm just <laughs> it's like, so on how point. do you do it? I just can't speak gibberish. Like, Best before. Best before. I'm out seeing of date and best before. a trend here. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Moomer knows you are here. We're playing the good and pure character, so I hope I told her. Yes, You're that's a good point. We've got a role play. So you probably did. Even the young forget. Not me. Right, this is more me doing <laughs> 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 way out here. 
to see ruff, them. Ruff, ruff, ruff. The Tony Pants has the fonz. <laughs> <laughs> The potato people, uh, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this the potato tree people. here fueling its source of life. I'm going to say potato oh, people I, is better. I feel seen, yeah. I absolutely uh, agree, potato uh, people uh, is a better name. Uh, <laughs> Lucy Sobey says, is that an might be right. Elvis rat? Like potatoes <laughs> yes, pretty much. Energy, it is. An yeah. excellent source of key. That's best before. <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one. Girl on fire says, "Why well, it's it. grease lightning?" I feel like there's got to be a good pun here. We just haven't found it yet. Grease fighting for when we do some combat. Absolutely. If if we see Elvis Bunny do some yeah. some fighting, then that would be. That would be grease fighting. Glitter grass sounds so lovely, by the way. I want that in my garden, just sparkling. Yeah, can we can we sort that out? You've got to. You wait a minute. Your mission right now is to ruffle the glitter. Ruffle grass. the glitter grass. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna jump in and ruffle this glitter grass, and see the potato people. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Right. This is the glitter grass in this beautiful. Aesthetically pleasing pool. It is very aesthetically pleasing. Look at these guys up here. I, I just love a bit of bioluminescence. It's you just know? what always, you want in a cave. I can always get involved in that. Right, let's ruffle this. Ruffle. <laughs> he was there. He was there the whole time. It's not you weird. found one. You should be proud. <laughs> they don't come out for everyone. Nathan says John Ravolta, Rat Volta. I will, I will look definitely allow that. Needs to complete its cycle and That's grow it. into I nodded. A tree of I didn't realise you can't see me nodding. <laughs> <laughs> nodded sage. <laughs> Peter Fitchin says it's the Furons, which is the. Yeah. S. I'll get behind that. <gasps> Elvis Pestley oh, 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 oh. says Graham <laughs> Hasselden. <laughs> That's good. Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to and, uh, it. He has the feeling the fate of the Louis world says depends background on background music is nice. It's very chill. Yeah. I can see someone bringing up Rufus now we've said more rats. Um, just to come. Stop, please. The only please. way it'll Do you grow Rufus? tall from is Kim the Possible, of key the naked mole rat. From the non I mean, as they no. become one I with don't, the what's tree. Kim Possible? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's just a great cartoon. Need people like me and exist. Nono, and he wants you to use his, but right. asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. They're potato people, though, right? Yeah. Come on. They're little potatoes. <laughs> Hoop net. Um, just to kind of recap what he was saying, it was he's telling us about the. The nono and the potato people, and how that kind of ties into the tree of life, and how you got to feed it and replenish it. You and keep handle it that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. <laughs> why is everybody saying? Oh, it's because of Kim Possible. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that why? I was like, why is everyone going, Dave? No, Dave. <laughs> I could see Jellyfield Empanada says, "Call me, beat me if you want a retreat," which was in the, which was the Kim. Possible theme tune, which was just it's just a solid theme tune. There's Rufus the Naked Mole Rat, there's a mate Ron, and there's Kim Possible, there's this there's this woman in green who does magic who's good at the I've it's just really good. It it's just really good. good. And I'm, this guy I'm sad, I'm this gutted. Is, this is this is Rufus in an outfit. This right. <laughs> the naked mole rat but with some clothes on. Yeah. Well, naked mole rats are a breed of mole rats. Yes, it is. Flux but they are naked. They are naked. 20, 12 generally to come. Yeah. So yeah. Countless, he'd say. Brand Snake says that I can go and watch it on Disney Plus. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. Billy Jean says, Is this the tutorial? It feels like the tutorial. Well, it's the start of the game, and there is a lot to this game. This one to become yeah. one so, we are learning quite a lot at the moment about the yeah. systems, about the world, and about our character. So, it's not the tutorial as such, I suppose, but at the same time. Like this is, as I said, this is an open world game, and we've not got to the open world yet. We're still in the kind of yeah. There's lots to there's it, it puts you kind of on a track for a little while, so that you get all of the backstory you need, you get all of the lore that you need, and can make like informed choices and stuff. So it's it's it, it it's tutorial esque, like it's built into the way that you learn about things for a, for a little while. But that's kind of useful because you want to be able to do everything properly when you get to the full open world. Spriggsy says, loved Ron and Rufus. Yeah, they were good. They were good. 
You'd like Kim Possible? It's a good cartoon. Yeah, I like good things. That's one of my rules. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. Nathan Holt says the pitch was, she's Kim Possible, she can do anything, he's Ron Stoppable, he can't From do anything. This day Here's a bit of a goof. He'll make That's fantastic. I'm well into Ron Stoppable. Into <laughs> <of life laughs> Ron Stoppable's a mood. Goal, not only for our village's sake, but for all of us. Everyone. <laughs> One day, the land <laughs> won't what? be as peaceful. <laughs> Not even oh, I could do that. Be I could be this. Us. I could be best before for sure. <laughs> oh, I've just seen Oliver Bath come in with a hey, everyone. Hey, Oliver Bath. Hey, Oliver Bath. Hey. Thanks for joining us. Those before us acted. We're playing by and unless something changes, we we'll do. Oh, Ash is playing. The I land am. won't survive the side effects the narration. of the old world's industrial advances. <laughs> He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. I ain't making Mooma worry. No chance. No how. No Although way. Though we know it's not going to end no, well. No, she's her. got lots on her mind or and needs Popsy. rest after the raid okay. last night on the Lupin camp for with neither. her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. Joseph PS4 guy says, I see a lot of Ron Stoppable in Dave. Should I be offended by that? Well, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just but will be. It's not offensive. <laughs> it's Pedantic Gaming says it's that Jimmy Mutiny. I'm also a bit offended about that. <laughs> he says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun. And it wasn't long after that that the world eaters. But I want to ask about both of I these. Know, I don't know what either are. It has to be world eaters. World eaters sounds too cool. Cool. Not, The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse, the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land, set the world eaters' DNA into overdrive. Nick Perez says the narrator gives me strong LBP vibes. It is quite a. Uh, his Steve friend Fry. Gizmo mm. is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. I like thinking of the Watsits again. <laughs> yeah. Jumbo Puff is Watsits. still repairing his Octopod. There will to be a quiz the at the end of this. Uh, that so make sure, uh, I hope you've been taking the note of all the at the end of uh, the Northwest words. Route. I the have. The multi-organ birth canal. The multi-organ. The, the birth, birth canal. canal. <laughs> the midget, and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Hoof poof is uh, somewhere else. In <laughs> so this is Finally, the map we're seeing right now. Like, this is the, this is the world. The this is the, this is the world. The machine puff. able to ride the waves of the surf <laughs> all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. <laughs> out of date says his friends are gearing up to stop the world eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The trees in the middle of the map. The road ahead won't be easy. But he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. To why, Momombusu? He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree I'm isn't laughing saved. just because Porky Porky Puff <laughs> is, <laughs> is a choice. Where so. can I get a Porky Puff? Porky Puff, please. Old man. <laughs> he claims names have power. So I'm not interested in the power names. names. I want Porky Puff. <laughs> For him, the Porky Puff is particularly personal. It was that carnivorous beast that I feel took bad his now. leg. Sorry. Imagine, though, imagine <laughs> being, having to say, right, I lost my leg to a porky puff. To a porky. He's chosen that life. And that's what I called it. Run the situation with the world eaters. Instead of, like, the leg-mangling monster of the deep oh, that has big fangs, <gasps> porky puff. It's the, it's the rod net. I'm going to take it. Just Thank like you. when I was a wee biomutant. There's, look, here's, here's my beautiful character again. There. Yeah. And there's our update. Hi. Hi, bye. Let's get out of here. Let's go up the row. Did you used to be best before? I just want to know. You're getting the hang of it. Just let us know. All right, then. What the next? way out is through the roof where they came in. And the rope looks strong enough to climb. This is a rope. Yeah, this is a rope. This is. So, Let's go. we'll allow it. Let's go. Jump in and climb in in bio mutant going up the rope. Gonna find some things to shoot and to hit with stuff. 
With a big sword. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yes. some pylons. That's pylons. what I like to see. Reveal no, yourself. The tree of life is dying. Oh. Its yeah. days are numbered. That's a bummer. Is Without health, enough? it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Casey Wonder says, Porky Puff, the terrifying leader of the furry what's it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think the clouds spelled Biomutant then. <laughs> Where have they gone? <laughs> oh, this is my favourite bit to show everyone. Not the sprinting, but also, I do, I do sprinting, really actually. love the sprinting. Yeah, the sprinting is good. Oh, yeah, that's the a trophy. The adventure begins. Run in a circle for joy. This It's marking maps that is my favourite part. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. I would describe myself as cartographically challenged. Well, because we're finding territories and we are but an animal, you whiz on the, the post. Oh my god! Let's you whiz on the post! <laughs> to mark your map. Oh, that's a porky puff. That's a porky puff. No there way. There we go. So there we go. This is where we've been so far, just in this little bit here. We've come out. There's our next goal. Uh, that's all very self-explanatory. I don't know why I'm saying that very slowly. But there's all that. And then this is the tree of life. Dying guy here. Um, and here are our... There's porky puffs right there. You can yeah. see him. Here he is. Oh, yeah. You actually can. Oh, that's porky cool. Porky puff. Oh, what my God, are you he's doing? Massive. He's a world eater? Uh, the oh clues yeah. in the name, Dave. That's a good point. Uh, he's also a leg eater. What was this one's name? Oh, there was the Porky there Puff. There was Hoofy Puff. Hoof Puff was Hoof up the other side. Hoof Puff was at the top. Uh, I didn't pay attention to this I did. One. I know Merc Puff, Hoof Puff. Oh, yeah, Merc Puff. I this think isn't it might be. This is one's, it not? This one's Merc Puff. Oh, okay. In the Merc. That makes more sense. Look, there's Merc Puff. Scary. Yeah. And that, this is Hoof Puff. I don't know why they're puffs. Like, it doesn't sound intimidating enough. World Eater is very intimidating. Yeah. Not sure that, that Puff is... is Filling me with enough respect, you know. That's supposed to be the, the dealio, though, isn't it? They've given them a name to be like, well, I hold the power over you, and I'm calling you a Porky Puff, which sounds like a little scratching. <laughs> it does indeed. Very, be very best. There's a lot of peeing in your streams recently. Yes, it's, it's not wrong. Ah! Rosie did a lot of peeing in the stream yesterday. Did she? Yeah. A lot. Uh, what, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm going to need on? more. Is this is this one of the, the puffs? I don't know. Oh my god, that's massive. The world yeah, it is. There we go. Off oh my god, that was Porky Puff! That was Porky Puff! Oh my god, Leader I'm your biggest fan! <laughs> we talk about you all the time. The world eaters have made selfie. their marks on our world over time. <laughs> yeah, by making that's not their the mark, first, you mean nor the last smash up a village yeah. in its wake. It really did not do any favours to this. My voice, I'm so emotional about this village. It's David Shaw Parker. They're just the narrator. They just said David Shaw Parker. There you go. A lot of lot of love for David Shaw Parker and the uh, chat. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Oh, hello. Oh, do you want a tickling toffee? <laughs> 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 I've got a tickly tongue. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the Middle world Lock. eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Well, it did, and just smashed up this village. Ooh, what's aura? This is our friends. Okay, this is the light in the dark. Mm -hmm. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. <laughs> Sajid says, posh puff, <laughs> scary <laughs> puff. <laughs> anyway, he needs help and says it's by your oh, actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. Well, we're playing Mr. Nice we are. Porky Puff. We so. are. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in I you. do, I do. Pedantic Gaming says, apparently the narrator appeared in the Muppets Christmas Carol as old Joe. <gasps> so there you That's go. That's a spark of light in you. Look at you oh, silent just to buy the light. God, I hate you, light. I'm going to say, yeah, you are a bit much. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Smack that spark out before it starts. There, that's it. <laughs> yes. so harsh. It's such a little spark. Take it out now while it's small. We're trying. <laughs> There's always another spark. That's good to know. Oh! Oh! Get your own back! Blimey! The light has a big bone weapon, and the dark has a shovel. Psy points. So this is so Psy is like the kind of the, the magic in this world, right? Yeah. Like 
uh, key is the magic. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Let's have a little look, because I think we've earned some upgradable fun. Oh, after this. Hang on a minute. Oh! He's not messing around. Out of date he's out. He's almost out of time. Stand against Ash, the so world he's, he's with the date. support yeah. of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Snake Ace says I'm actually eating Regardless a banana puff choose, while watching the stream. Be easy. A banana puff? I don't even know what banana puff the is, is, is and I intend than ever, to find out. Teetering on the brink of war. So the I Myriad's to conviction Wait. to stop the World listen. Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. Doesn't it just? Whew, inescapable. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world nice. eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate, Fate will way. find a way. Interesting. Yeah, it does set you up with this. The life tree, the, the tree of life. Out of date says dying. someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. So basically there are two tribes in this area. Yeah. One is like, protect the tree of life. He believes and one the tribe like, sees Myriad, Myriad especially, yeah. will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a... Oh, sorry. Myriad is convinced that defeating the World Eaters is the only way the world can be saved, but they've been forced to focus on their rivalry with the Jagni tribe. Out of Date will be waiting for you beneath the Tree of Life if you lose track of what you need to do. Good to know. Thank you. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the World Eaters. <laughs> Just kill these four World Eaters and we'll be after. <laughs> Cool. So, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're told the tree of life is dying and you can either just go, ah, dying is it? I'll, I'll help with that. Or yeah. that you want to bring it back to life. So I think, that, you know, for, for this stream, we're like, let's nourish that baby. Let's, uh, big time. Let's, let's bring it back to life. That is what I will be doing in my game because I'm so bad at being bad. <laughs> I just can't. I need to, we need to do a series where I just role play as a really bad guy because I need to get it out of my system. You, you got to do it someday. I don't know how people learn to do it. Right, let's have a little look. We've got bio points and side points. So, what's all this? Biogenetics. There we go. We can have a little buy of some early game stuff. Mothmouth. So, biogenetics are unlocked using bio points gained from defeating bio creeps. Ooh. I've been called worse. Nah. Or finding containers. Bio points can often be found at nucleus. Tower sites. What, what's grosser, having moths fly out your mouth or big sick? Um, Spew toxic. I'm gonna go for vile bile. Yeah. I've already decided. I, I like the moth power, but bile is always vile. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Oh, which input? Which input do we want? Uh, press triangle. Because it's what green. Do you want to use an ability? Press the button. It's bound to while pressing L2. 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 Let's. Have we bound that? Yes. Yes. Good, good, right. And then we've got some psi points. Yes, they're in psi powers. mutations as well. Blaze. Oh, Blaze looks cool. Or blink. Oh my god. What are you feeling? Ooh, Blaze. Blaze just looks super cool. Yeah. I love the idea of just drawing fire around someone and then. Yeah. Good luck. Because we're burning our own path, is why. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Why is my why is my bile been moved? That right. is a good question. Let's put it on square. Let's bind this. That's on square. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. There we go. That's on square. And then I'll bind this back to... There. There we go. Cool. Right. So... Oh! Something's Another happening. Fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? Right. So, this bit, you can go and talk to the Jagni first. Or you can go and talk to the Myriad tribe first. The Myriad being the nice guys. We're going to go and talk to the Myriad. 
Um, because the Jagni, it's basically you go there and you say, hey, what's up? And they say, join us or die. Um, they always say that. Yeah. So, and you know, we're playing, we're playing good guys in this one. So we're not going to join them and we don't want to die. So we're going to go and see the Myriad tribe and see if we can broker some peace. Yeah. We're going to say to them, join us or die. It's unusual yeah. that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. Do, do, do. I do love the running. Going on all fours. It's just... What? Have we come across... So are these the tribes fighting? This is the tribes fighting, so we can join in and be like, Get out of here, nasty... Nasties. But which ones are the Jagni? I don't, I'm just going for it. I'm just <laughs> wailing everybody's, on them. I'm just wailing on Everybody's going to get messed up. You're fighting, are you? Take that. Let's use our new, new ability. Yeah. Oh, sick! That's a vile Horrible vile. sick! Absolutely Woo! disgusting. Woo! Oh, that is very cool. That is exactly what I wanted from that. That was very satisfying. Oh, they're 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 loading up again. And so those are those things are like um, key power, right? Yeah. So you have to let your your key is the blue bar, and you have to let that kind of replenish. I'm just being sick everywhere. I'm just being sick. Right <laughs> That's an upgrade point. Woo! Sorry, I keep wooing. I'm gonna stop. I. I Fully encourage the woos. Woo! It's just the same one. I feel like I sound like a soundboard. <laughs> like, woo, woo. Ash isn't actually here. I've just got a soundboard <laughs> uh, that I just hit. Right, we've smashed up some tribes. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. It's still quite pretty. Oh, I fell off. As war zones go, yeah, I've seen a lot worse. I mean, not personally. That sounded like I was a cool war guy there. <laughs> but, um, there's Those that are, face they're, again. They're very nice um, trenches. They are. They've yeah. been doing well, very neatly. Well kempt. Oh, we've got another. Let's get that point going. So, yeah, I just wanted to say earlier that the map, the map is 8 by 8 kilometres. So, 16 square kilometres. Is that right? 8 by 8? Yes. What could no. you take? <laughs> That's not how it works. That's so um, 60. Oh. Is it 4 by 4? <laughs> yeah, it's 4 by 4 kilometres. Just what? Sorry. Square kilometers. What maths is happening? I, I don't know. I'm trying. I was trying to say a fact, and I realised that then I didn't know the fact when I started <laughs> to say it, and now I'm full of regret, Ash. So let's go for well, it. Well, you just saved me by um, getting a new Wang Fu power. So we've got all our basic ones down, basics and manoeuvres. So close combat. Let's go for close combat because we went for arranged combat last time. So let's go for unarmed. The unspeakable hand. Yes. Square, square, it's triangle. Unspeakable. I've got a big sword on, though, to be fair. So that is a big sword. I probably won't be using the hand, but we've got it just in case. You could unequip it, but why would you? Look at my massive sword. I'm yeah. going to unequip that. I'm proud of it. It's what I've been mostly looking at this whole time. Yeah, to be it's beautiful. I love that. I do. I know we've covered this, but the sprinting is really nice. It's just the little paws. That's the myriad tribes like for us. My cat. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way, you'll know. Yeah, you little might, rhyme right? there. Little rhyme. Yeah. When you're getting serious, you've got to rhyme it. That's it's the, a that's beaten the path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Hey oh. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. They've already got word of an intruder, so he guesses the Sifu must be very interested in meeting you. Zentrix says, is it possible to walk around normally in the game or do you have to do missions? Well, it's just this opening bit that's missions that we're yeah. doing at the moment. So we're like... It is an open world. Um, yeah. We're just not quite there yet. CB? you got to set yourself up to be ready for it. Lucy Sobe says, my cat, say hello, Ash. <gasps> oh, I the say hello to your cat. What about me? Where's, the, the where's my cat? They like me. They would like me if they knew. Uniting the tribes is the only way me. to <laughs> peace. <laughs> oh. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the world eaters and saving the tree of life is the only way to make the world a better place. I mean, yeah, I, I agree. Can, I can see the logic in that. It's pretty logical. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as Siberia the tribe's Siberia Dentist? <laughs> but he was hoping you'd show up. 
the news of the vigilante Ronin I mean, on the crusade dentist. crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded Vigilante? A vigilante? That's how I say that. Lucy Sobey says that the cats say hello he to me. Too, you so. took out of date oh. against the oh, scavengers in Bunker 101. <laughs> Oh, and M. Psylocke says my cat says hello to you, Dave. So. Oh, you who else has got cats out there? He's so say who do they say hello to? to? <laughs> let me, <laughs> let me hear you, <laughs> cat. <laughs> Ash and I were saying earlier, it's, There's something it's about the kind of day where we could, we could really of you use as a, a cat yeah. cuddle. He can oh, still sense your kind hearted. I saw a cat. Shadow bullets, bullets 24 says, Dave, my cat Gimli the says hello to you. Gimli? They're all saying hello to you now. Make my another cat. Come to life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was very your funny. <laughs> for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wung Fu disciples. Right, now, uh, we've talked a little bit over the voice we over have, here. Sorry, but uh, basically, Wung Fu disciples, this is what we're learning about. I'm going to say, hey, disciples, um, because there's more to do with that. Wung Fu is the, the kind of energy that we're doing and the moves that we're doing. It's the practice that we're doing with all this combat stuff. So it's good and interesting. It's good. There were six of them, but the unity fell apart after Lupa Lupin attacked the old village. Soon after, they formed new tribes based on their own values, and when the blight started, the animosity escalated to war. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. That's my if goal you too. There's some good in everyone, We're so aligned. There's still hope for tomorrow. I've You'll been reading the, the cat tribes and I'm defeat sorry. the world eaters <laughs> to That's save good. the tree of Let's life. join the Miriani and tell me about the cats. Well, the big one is that Sarah without he the H says, Dave didn't say hello back them. to my cat. You and understand that there's and no I didn't see Sarah without the H. Hello to your cat. Hello, hello to, to everyone's cat. That's everywhere. That's <laughs> waiting for something to tip the balance in their favour. Ozymandias well, says, I've adopted a per machine. He's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. Coerce? I think that means fight. The myriad were placed here to fulfill a certain purpose, chosen to unite the tribes and take control of their destiny. The tribes need a firm hand guiding them into the future. James Mark says, my cat Bronwyn says hi to both Ash and Dave Aww. and then promptly Hello, ignores me. Yeah. Their That's cats cool. have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. Ch James L says, I don't have a cat, Dave, but my wife says hi. <laughs> That's fine. Well, hello to her, too. They <laughs> might bring them war, but they'll never take away their inner peace. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control That's of. That's the Jagni's land, I believe. Snacked... I yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bailed. I bailed on that. <laughs> ah, I liked hearing you try to begin He though. says you'll regret not being on their side. See, I told you he's aggressive. The only yeah. way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that it's will never combat. happen. I, I will, will smash him! I reckon it will. Gentle minds. I'll smash so him to they dust and then blow it all over. War. Oh, nice. Yeah. A war that bonds in a disrespectful as much as way. it breaks. Yeah, exactly. Go, <laughs> Watch it. Get out of here. It's nothing to me. It tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Yeah. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge... Oh, sorry. I, I've been doing Mass Effects and you can click it no before the end of a sentence and it at the end, so I'm sorry if I've accidentally skipped some no other dialogue. Way forward. The Mr. Garzi says, this game sure loves violence. its talking. Less talking, more yeah, running and fighting, please. And it's, you know, it's a tricky you thing when we're streaming because there is a lot of narrative of in this game. There's a lot of yeah. story to get out and we've decided to share it with you. Myriad wants you. We will be running and fighting tribes. shortly, I'm sure. Their yes. goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honour. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you. The will to do good. I do, I do. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. 
Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. Watch family. Yes, good point. He can't you blame you for not remembering. Movie? Uh, and sense the stillness of something Popsy. lost. Where are my Mooma? My Popsy? Popsy and Mooma. Let's run around. I like this respect. That's right. Hey. Nobody move. Woo, I'm going to do a little run around. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. Ah, you, you guys have got to be still. Woo, woo. Hey there. Woo. That's right. right. That's enough. That's enough tomfoolery. Oh, sleeping on the job. I know. What the hell? Oh, oh dog. God. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> best to leave. Uh, best to leave now. Yeah, let's get out of here. Right, let's go. <laughs> I can't put my sword away. I've just got it out because I'm ready to go. There we go. I'm back. I'm ready to go. Oh, we get to do some more. Beep, beep. A final post. Smokey says it's an RPG, so I expect a lot of talking. It is. It is. There we go. Uncovered some map. Looking good, map. Looking good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just marking my territory. And we're gonna have a little look at this landscape. Do, do, do. And jump. There we go. Beautiful ocean. Big fan. Nice pylon. Nice sky. Even the pylons are, are are kind of welcome for some reason. I I, li I do really like the way that it's like that classic post-apocalypse, like yeah. you know, overgrown, but with I love the hints at like the past stuff that used to be the way back when, if you will. Do you ever do it when you're playing RPGs where you just jump across the map and you just as yeah. if as if you're skipping, but like oh, a hundred percent, yeah, dee skipping dee. everywhere. It's <laughs> like I mean, this should be a Friday feature. If I had the stamina to do this, this is how I would walk all the time. Seven ways we were bad at role play. <laughs> I jump everywhere. <laughs> just jump everywhere. Oh, what's going to happen? A new one. A childhood, childhood village. village. I hope we get to see John I hope get to see again. <laughs> yeah. Will we finally meet Mooma? Mooma and Bobsy. They love the loving and they love the <laughs> laughing. The Mooma. See, this is the childhood village. I want to see what's up here briefly, though. You can. Like, you we can, can do, do that. whatever you want. We can we do it. Your preferences here. We entertain my preferences here. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the map. Ooh, it's the Jagni. Ah, oh, God, you're heading towards the Jagni area. I wonder if there's going to be any baddies. See, that's the village. If there is, they're going to be dead. Uh, to be fair, let's go into the village because maybe this is the way we go later. So let's go do the village so it's done. Do ah. the village. We, we need, we've got to, you know, discover ourselves. Yeah, we or, do, uh, we do. I know there's a bit more. Oh! Better beware, that's a monk. Up ahead. It's a wonky they were hit hard by oh God. The that's no that's no bum! Oh my god. That's <laughs> a space station. Click 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 click. Alright, I've gotta do my special abilities. Ah! Oh yeah. Bit of fire. Oh god. It, what wow. was that one that the one that you're supposed to remember? What is it? Square circle square R2. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, he's really you might you might you, you might want a little bit of health. Oh press on one. Look You're out! Ah, oh, I need some. I need some help. Up on the, I need some help. Up on the deep end. I need some help. <laughs> we need a toffee. Oh, oh it's there done. we go. It's done. Consumed. There we go. It really is a one. So it's circle, square, circle, square. R2. R2. Yeah, we did it. We did it. I don't think he, he cared. No, he but cared. We, we did. Let's get out of here. Let's have some health. Health patch. Nom nom. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna come and I'm gonna be sick on you. I think yeah, I I reckon. Oh my god, he's so powerful! He's wow, really he's strong. really messing you up. Ah uh, ah! Uh. Oh, you can just target different parts of him. That's cool. Yeah. Is. Right, I need to right smash your attacks. Yeah, no more ooh, knees ooh. for you, my friend. You want to bend those knees? Think again. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going. Foo roll. Be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would really annoy oh. me, to be fair. <laughs> you know, kind of rat thing coming up to you, and just vomiting bile all over your feet. Not and I'm set on fire. With your key energy level. Oh, come oh, on. Yeah. All right, narrator. I'm really feeling myself. That's not going to happen. You've turned Ooh. the table somewhat here, I fancy. 
And I'm going to hit him with my sword. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, no. That's a bad one. Leave me be. I'm just trying to kill you. I just want to see my childhood village. Let me to my childhood village. Right, right. Yeah. Like it. Oh, I was trying to do my charge dance again there. Whoa. Less of that. Wonky move. Wonky. It's over, man. It's over. Just accept Roll. it. Just go quietly into the night. Get out of here. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. yeah chop him up. Take that. One and tickling toffee. One tickling one toffee. Tickling to that wonky mum. Yeah, but also a chest Ridiculous. with a small health pack. Oh, okay. Oh, in that case. In that case. It was all worthwhile. It was. Jumping through. <laughs> Justin level 99 says, where's Atreus? I know, he would have been very useful there. Oh, I've just seen these are called Pew Pew Bosks... Bo Bosk Sparker. Bosk Sparker. Bosk Sparker. <laughs> I can't say <laughs> that. Me neither. Bosk Sparker. Some things are meant to be seen and not said. Zon Big Blade. Ooh, Zon Big Blade. It is I a big blade. I get behind that. Okay, here we are, the childhood village. Oh, ah, so and many a, happy memories. A pee -pee post. A pee post. But it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. It is. It's the map marker. I intend to mark my surroundings. Yes. Hey -o. Woo! That hot Let's green see. liquid. <laughs> That's right. Okay, cool. There we go. We're in the middle. Let's go and see. A, a village, you say? A childhood As village? As time passes, Doesn't memories look. fade. Like and sometimes feelings place. change. It's not about who you were. It's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Oh, oh I'm shrinking. shrinking! I'm a tiny baby again! Oh, no. Where's best before? Echoes of Where a long, long sell by date. Like whispers in the wind. Woo! I Maybe love back. being the little one because you're really zippy. Yeah. It just feels nice. <laughs> goop. Yes, goop. I forgot goop. Here's <laughs> someone who takes each day as it comes. It's the laugh. He's just having a blast. He asks how you are today. Better now you ask Goo. Oh, yeah. Goo <laughs> says he always does better. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this, Ash. I'm He's having an existential crisis and Goof is not helping. Goo. He wonders where you've Goo. been. He hopes <laughs> oh, you've been out at the lake practicing your swimming If they're technique. all based, hang on a sec before I click this answer. If they're all based on, like, you know. Animals. No, oh, on, on like, out of date and best before. Oh, and, right. Like, you know, Goop. Yeah. Goop is Gwyneth Paltrow's. Like health brand. Yes, it is. So yeah. that's what he's based on. Well, that explains it. <laughs> that explains it. Uh, is he wearing like? He's wearing like a sort of deep sea diving outfit. Yeah. When you don't know what you're he's going to teach us how to swim. But though. fortunately, he's here what to give you he? a helping Why does he have duck's feet? I don't he like it. You should really know how to swim by now. I'd be grateful. Goop. And he'll be honoured. Yes, Goop. Goop, no! Goop! Why would you do this to us? Unswimming. I'm swimming around like a pro. Oh my god, no I'm not. Go, go, run! Just keep on swimming, keep on swimming. Oh, it uses your key. Yeah, it's hard, hard god. work. I've got to use my brain. Yeah. He says, that Magic wasn't brain. too bad, was it? Well, I uh, we're playing the nice version, but I do want to say you did almost drown me. Yeah, say it. That's not how you no. Because we were very nice, and he would think it. Don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit. I think this is the role. It's the role play. I know this is what I'm bad at. Lots of practice. But you need practice. Lots of practice. Well, or a better teacher again. I'll keep trying though. Goop. I'll keep trying. I think you should be doing you right now. Great things. No, I'm too horrible. You can't even never stop trying. Deal with the the nice. Too horrible. We need to do a nice. We're doing a nice playthrough. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. Keep it to yourself. You can never try too hard. Judging by your oh, moves, look, now what's happening? Is this, is this is this Mooma? That's Mooma. You promised because I'm little Mooma. Where we got our fur from? It's time to go. Um, I've been looking forward to it. That's the nicest one. The dedication to training is important. Oh, Mooma. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. Wang Fu is in our blood, though. You should know. Practice makes perfect. You're right. 
You have to keep working on it if you want to be good at it. Muma, I've got the message. She'll see you at the village square. I love training with you, Muma. Have I ever told you how much I love training with you? I hope you she never die. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow. Right, train with Muma. Who are these fellows? Here's another familiar face. Oh, Gizmo, I can get behind straight away. Big fan. I think he likes Gizmo. Absolutely. Asks how you're feeling today. That's kind. Oh, uh, better now I'm talking to you. That is, if anyone actually said that to me, I would be nice so freaked out. I'd be suspicious. That doesn't yeah. make it less important. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. I like this sassy one where it's like, I don't mind picking up trash. <laughs> <laughs> where it is actually nice. He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Thanks, Gizmo. I'll do your dirty work. Eric Bizarre says Gizmo is God. Let's have a rummage. Bit of upcycling. I'm rummaging. Who doesn't love a good rummage in a rubbish pile? I like it. It's my weekend activity. Yeah. My it's amazing choice. what people throw out. It is. Let's see. It's slightly used to toilet paper. He wonders what usefulness you found. Something old to make something new, Gizmo. <laughs> He says every oh. little thing counts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Even you're put off by the niceness. I've lost for words, yeah. Anything, and can't deal with if it. You know how to upcycle. Um, well, see, this feels irrelevant about the things he makes. Well, it's about me, so I'm ready to get my hands dirty. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. I'd actually like to learn to upcycle in the real world. Yeah. I'm not going to. Be nice there. Whoops. Uh, so, so there's crafting. Yeah. There's crafting in the game. There is. Wow. So you can change all different parts. Of, you can change the. Oh, I'm and li they all I'm have liking this. equally mad names, like pipe wrench. Um, but no, they all have crank part, hipster handle, yeah, rubber grip, saw, crazy saw. Oh. I'm gonna go for saw. Yes, of course you're going for saw. <laughs> Craft your weapon. Press square. But here it is. My impressive lousy composite saw hat grind. Yeah. Yeah. Be proud of it. You know what you are. You know. You did well. You know what it is. I can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. It's a saw. I wanted something cutting edge. Oh, too, come he on. He appreciates too good. those able Ooh. to deliver a sharp, sharp remark. Oh, we're back. We're my, just absolutely I riffing over here. I pointed my finger there. <laughs> understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. Well, I made it. It's mine. Oh, no, that wasn't nice. <laughs> Gizmo doesn't mind sharing. What's his is yours, and what's yours is his. I didn't say that. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Yeah, I am talented. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. She's not really happy. Does. She's really not happy. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Well, I can't be there from here again. Ooh. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She Asteroid wants you says, to grow up I think and I would turn off the narrator when I'll yourself. be saying, I want you to hear really the funny voices. That is a thing you can do, which yeah. I think is cool, actually. Go on. Likewise, you can turn she off the funny forever, voices. You know yeah, you can pick what and choose what you hear. But she intends to make the most of every day she gets, especially the ones you share together. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. I'll always follow you, you. Then start by meeting her on the village square and take Again, it from there. Again, I can't be there if I'm here. You're a free spirit, always We're talking on the move, right now. Like yeah. the wind. Why don't you just take me with you? Put me on your back. Yeah, I'm only little. But tiny baby. They look determined. Better watch out. They do look like an angry bunch. Yeah. 
is not a welcoming sight. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. Are you scared of me? He's not scared of anything, least of all you. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. I'd rather be a nobody than you, Pooty and What happened to Nice Ash? Oh, this he guy's getting on right. my nerves. Nobody can tell him what he can. It lasted can't like 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna smack him with my nasty little saw now. Get off me! Horrible, nasty. Oh my god, I'm getting bad. This is no good. Ooh, ooh. Dave, narrate it. Like the narrator. Oh god, okay. <clears throat> Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> he fell to his... to the floor. But he came back fighting and was victorious. Come on! I'm Look at Gizmo just watching! Thanks, yeah, mate. Yeah, Gizmo, get involved. I'm literally smacking up a bunch of children with a saw. Yeah, uh, they've got... Ranged weapons, for God's sake. It's a lousy saw as well. I mean, it's literally a lousy saw. Yeah. Oh! My thumb! I'm too weak! I'm only a tiny uh, Kinoshita says, what language is that? It's gibberish. It's, it's gibberish. literally gibberish. It's called gibberish. Give me... Oh, my lousy saw. God. I just cracked my wrist in rage. Oh my God, you're tiny. I'm also my tiny baby. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? Um, we should invite them to train. Why not? No, they're insecure. <laughs> <laughs> if confidence is silent and insecurity is loud, she thinks you're absolutely right. We're on a level, me and Muma. The most yeah, important her. thing is that you're okay. Yeah. It's time to focus on your training now. I must get stronger than my excuses. Oh, come on. Well said. You I won't need that. excuses if you are strong in your conviction. She's she's always got something to come back with. Yeah, she's I know. got me. She's pretty. Just be she's pleased. On the ball. Be pleased. Be proud of me, Mooma. That's all I've ever wanted. I'm a tiny. Uh -huh. Gate to Eden says, or is it gerbilish? <gasps> well played. That was good. I enjoyed well it. Well played. Ah, oh, Popsy! No way! Hey Doing what he does best, making hats. Seeing you always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants That's to know nice. how you're feeling. So, if something is wrong, I feel useful or as good as anybody, not better. Well. That's very. That's the average answer. Yeah. I'm going to say, I feel useful. Can you give me something to do, Popsy. He heard you helped Gizmo clean up. Yeah, He's time. proud of you. Thanks, I Popsy. upcycle now. Yeah. Work up. thing I he asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. Yes, but if you tell Muma because she's on my case. Yeah, she's not she been happy with my. You'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. Then don't ask me to help, Popsy. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. Laundry pile. My f this is one of the less exciting uh, mission names. <laughs> laundry pile. <laughs> if I if laundry pile comes up when I'm at home, I do that I mission just, straight I away. I just fall asleep. I love immediately. that mission. I love it. I love having clean things. I like having clean things, big time. I like the satisfaction of having a clean thing. Take you it. just admitted you're mucky. That's what no, you said. No, that's where you're completely wrong. Uh. It's our home, your stuff. I'm not sure. Something familiar to renew. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bionucleus pool Ooh. and refresh his DNA. That's what we were paddling in. A bio... What? He can bio work wonders pool? with pretty much anything and asks if you know that. how to upcycle. I do. Yeah, big time. I, how do I say yes? Yes, I'm great at it. I'll get my hands dirty for you next. Says at least dirty hands are proof that you tried, and that counts. That you failed this time doesn't mean you can't succeed the next. He says it's about time you learned how, and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. I do love scrap. 
It's more crafting. Woo! A peewee jacket. So we're just going to do this. We're going to randomize. Let's do randomize because you can have a bit of fun with some random goodies. I am someone who suffers from uh, decision fatigue. So I love a randomize. I just love it. I'm just yep. like, just put some stuff on. I'll see if I like it. Yep. And it's on. We've definitely got some... Look at the, that jazzy little arm piece. Yeah, piece of well, what is that for? He's going to smash someone's face. He's going to yeah, smash I'm, up more kids with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to find them and I'm going to say, Oi! Look have at this. me now. I've got the a metal on my sleeve. too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. I get it. I made something Moomoo would be proud of. I wish. I'll make things you won't. <laughs> I like it anti-fashion, is the truth. Agrees. At least that way it'll never go out of style. Yeah, it never was in. Yeah, you should take time. it with you. Wear it to practice. Uh, I made it, so it's mine. <laughs> he agrees that you need to keep some things to yourself, but in general, you should know that sharing is caring. Says who? He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Thanks, Popsy. Thank you for your lesson. I'm going to wear, wear my outfit with a piece of metal on and think of you. Smash up a kid. <laughs> and please tell Muma that I was on my way to training. Please when, tell her. When when you interrupted. Oh, she's going to be mad. Oh, she's going to be so mad. That's her practicing how she's going to... Yes. <laughs> wrong Take us. me apart. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Uh, mm, better late than never. That's my motto in life. Says on time would be better yet. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. Ooh, no, because they're stupid. God, why weren't we playing an evil character? I don't feel fair. I don't know, actually. I really don't know. <laughs> I thought it was a nice change of pace. <laughs> learning. I thought if we played an evil one, we'd have to do the Jagni tribe, and destroying the Tree of Life didn't feel very posy, so... It's not it's not Fat Friday feeling that I'm searching for. No, nah, yeah. it's not Friday feeling, so that's why I went nice. And I thought, you know, choices of voices would make sense yeah. as being nice. big time. I'm just... <laughs> talked over that, but him just smacking up his hand and being like, <laughs> Oh! It hurts. Hard relate. Whoa. There it is. <laughs> it's like, did I do good? That's my face yes. when I make a video. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Why are you proud? I did all the work. <laughs> I'm going to say that. <laughs> you should what just shit? keep working and you'll do well. See, they're all so nice. Yeah, though. she's fine. She doesn't mind a little bit of sass. Been working on a present for you with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. As a team, they're called Wizmo. <laughs> you should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. How thoughtful. Says he's always thought so well of you. Just like her. Thank you. Considering how small everyone is, he's a very big one. He's massive. Oh, here we go. It's my bug. It's my bug. It's an automaton bug. I'm going to catch it. Here. Oh, catch yes. It. Wow, it's massive Your back in the day. She's never <laughs> seen well, an apparatus small. as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. What an effort it must have been. She's happy right. you appreciate what others do for you. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, right. and it's hardwired to your DNA. Have you ever It'll thought follow wherever you go this and see could be? whatever you see. <gasps> No way! Have you ever considered that I've perhaps... I've never... I just... You know, I've just been blindly just accepting it. Just Maybe. Like, it's fine. Maybe it's this bug on our shoulder with a smooth voice. Oh, That's yes, my so assumption. Smooth. That's my assumption. I like it. Well, what, I'm going for it. Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm getting well It, it might not that. be. It also might not be, but I just think, you know, he's my mate. We talk. He's literally a bug. Yeah. That's good if anything bad happens. You're lucky to have such a fine helper with you. But then, if I were the bug, I'd be like, Your hell yeah, I'm great. Says you so. look tired. Yeah, very no true. wonder. It's been a long day. I true. am tired. But what a day it's been! Oh, oh Mooma. So I love you. The most of it. Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. I love that bug. Don't get too close to the, the naked flame, though, bug. Okay, <laughs> well, this will be a very sad end. You're covered in oil. Oh, no. 
<gasps> Not Lupin, far past Lupin. Lupin, Lupin. From setting the world on fire. He's setting the world on fire one like log at a time. Ah, uh, damn this wooden house. Like I should run off. Save me, Your Mama. urges you to blaze a trail. Don't blaze a trail. That would help him out. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. Kidling. I do like kidling as a word. Yeah. Go, go. Oh! oh! That's just adding fuel to the flames. Well, it is wood. Yeah. I mean, it's... it's this rain it surely must be and you'll make it. Helping. helping. Yeah. It might, might be key fire, maybe magical key fire. Side powers. Go, go, go! Run! Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Looper Lupin. This time Blimey. there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Don't do it, Mooma. We Let's know run. how this story no ends. Let's run! Time. The time has come to stand and fight. Oh, I think that's the wrong time. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. Oh, finally, yeah, big time. She Come loves on, how Mom. brave you are, but she can't be worrying about you while she fights. This is her fight. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Well, that's not a haunting. That's a hole. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to punch him. Ah! Punch him so good. I'm so small. Oh, wow. Yeah. He, yeah, he's bad. He's going to stamp on you. <laughs> that's for sure. I'm so small. Please. Oh, oh wow. You can at least distract him a bit. I mean, she, she, she can get a couple of hits in there. We can do this. Come on, Mooma. Family. A family that fights together, flights together. Yeah, when we run away. Looper, looping. Oh, oh my god. Mooma. Not my Mooma. Where's your big sword? That's what you need. Yeah, when did Even I get your little that? lousy sword. That would be good. Yeah, but those nasty boys took it. Yes, this is good. This yeah. is good, Ash. This is... Oh. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Oh, we've done fire. Oh Why does everyone keep chucking me in the sea? I know. It's not okay. Your Swim. Mooma says you can make it if you believe in it. Actually. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. <laughs> but only one threatens to drown me right now, Mooma. To catch a fox is, is Dave being paid to save surf. big time. Don't Do I say big time a lot? <laughs> <laughs> I said it a lot today. It to <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, big time. Big, big time into big time. Yeah. Flee. Flee across the pond. I'm fleeing. I'm swimming. I'm fleeing. I'm fleeing and swimming. Oh, oh. gosh. That's actually, that's absolutely terrifying. Looper loopings under the water. I don't like that. I don't like that. Super it's like ah! Subnautica. Leave me alone. Mooma! Triangle hug. <laughs> Get us out of here. <laughs> Come on, Popsy, do something. Don't just jump. I'm so small. I can do nothing. No, this is upsetting. Mooma! Death That's is really not horrible. to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. <laughs> I like the goofy animation there. Just <laughs> what? <laughs> the well, well, well. <laughs> hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. Oh, don't show that! God. Well, that's hard hitting. Oh, and here's a close-up. That's really sad. I do love their little hands, though. Yeah. They're so cute. That little, like, raccoon hand. If a yeah. sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real oh, sacrifice no. comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience 
is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. <gasps> Got a bit real. Big it time. It really did. Big time. <laughs> Big time emotions. Oh, we're back. We're back with our sword. Thank God. I think... Um, we can go a little bit further on, but I think that's probably a good spot to... I think this is lost. the perfect spot the to end it, Ash. Only thing that remains is We said we'd do 90 minutes. It doesn't mean and we, we'll forget we all made up for the character creation we time. We made up for the character move creation time. On. We've done our 90 minutes. Uh, I think that's the perfect place to leave it after we get that kind of big revelation yeah. in Biomutant, which we have been uh, very lucky to be able to show you a little bit early. Yeah. Um, hopefully you've got a taste for for it um, for some mutations uh, for some mutations for some bio blobs and uh, what is that we'll kill this <laughs> <laughs> I remembered I it was here I was like oh. it's a fluffy hulk we'll kill a fluffy hulk it doesn't look fluffy at all a celebratory fluffy fluffy hulk fight I'm gonna be sick they're on all it. like tongue be sick right on it, it down. oh it's fluffy. it's fluffy it's, it's very fluffy I've been sick all over it it will hate that bile and uh, fur Again, oh not, god! Not a good combo. Quite nasty, actually. Yeah. Is it breathing fire? It's doing something nasty. Oh, that's also flaming. Does anybody else want to help? Anybody else want to get involved there? Or I'm just gonna die. Ah! Get out of here! Ooh. Oh, fire yes, with fire! Yes, that's what they say. Yeah. Oh, get me out! Get me out! Roll! I think it's incredibly. Uh, Interested by your fire. Yeah, it doesn't do as much damage as one would hope. Okay. Look at its tongue. That was nice. Stop! It's a weird mix of cute and ferocious. Yeah, the whole game's that weird, like, line. Cute, ferocious, and, like, funny and sincere. Like, it yes. does a bit of everything. Oh, it really does look fluffy. Oh, I did the combo! I'd have to stop mid fight for a. <gasps> a quick. Oh, he's got me. A quick strike. Oh my god, it's not messing. Oh wow, yes, that was the perfect dodge. I just really do like the slow mo. Ah! Oh. Let's do some sick on him. Oh, he's doing sick back! Oh. Wow, that guy's on fire. Not in a good way. Fluffy hole! Oh, oh, oh my, my god. gosh! No! Oh, I'm have very on fire! A, have, a, have a toffee! Oh, you did. Big knife hand. Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're at the pointy end of this fight now. Literally, with my sword! Almost there. Oh. Bang. The quick the quick reload on the gun is very useful, it's I will say. When I, I when I do do it. I really like that click. Click 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 click. Oh. And an upgrade point. Woo! Boom. Exactly. exactly. My, my <laughs> sentiment. No choice but to take it down, even though they'd planned to take the Fluff Hulk out to the far Fnacky leaves and let it go. Well, I was oh, helping. How were we supposed to know that? They've received news a Ronin had strengthened their ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. Even more now. So. A group of myriad crusaders already headed out to Jagni's Mercadorpus outpost and are waiting for you there. You're a Mercadorpus. You should hurry there and help them best the outpost. Is it far? Not really. It's west of Bricktown. <laughs> You can spot Gizmo's chug yard from the Gizmo. hill it resides on. We like Gizmo. Thank you. And goodbye. Perfect. And There's thank me. you and goodbye, because that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, we've been playing Biomutant, as I said, several times. We've been playing it a little <laughs> bit early. We uh, have. Hopefully it's given you a taste of it. We've, you know, we've paid attention to almost all of the narration. And a lot of people have been sort of back and forth on whether they like that or not. And I think it's worth saying again that you can, in the menu, you can turn off the narration if you like and just have the gibberish you can turn off the gibberish if you like or some sort of combination in between yeah so, so i will show you right now real there quick are custom as our customization ending options for ah, that. there we go um which is nice yeah it's in 
is it in audio i think yes. yeah so you can do your speech and your gibberish and, and the narrator frequency, yeah. and gibberish there you go and your subtitles and all that sort of thing so you can you can curate it to how you how you fancy exactly uh, so yeah, we, that's where we're going to leave it. I think we've shown enough Biomutant now. It's we're getting into into the main story bit now, um, yeah. uh, which people should discover for themselves. Thank you so much for joining us today, uh, everybody, especially Thank Domino you. and Oliver Bath. We really appreciate you guys being here and everything you do for the channel. Thank you for playing, Ash. Thank you for having me. You're welcome, but you got to stop saying that though, because <laughs> you know, you know why. Um, yeah, we're going to leave it there. Thank you, everybody. We've got a video coming out right now, which we're all very proud of, which is very, uh, which was a lot of fun to make. Yeah. And um, so please do stick around to watch that. Until then, uh, or rather after that, have a lovely weekend, and we will see you all of a sudden. Bye. Bye.